Well, let's begin to create our helicopters for our design experiments. We've designed a three-factor, two-level settings per factor design experiment, and in this particular case, there'll be eight experimental combinations. So we have two settings for body length, we have an underwing fold that we're going to do yes or no, and we have either a square or a pointed body shape. So let's start by making eight plane helicopters. We've done that. We already know that the lightweight paper flies the best. So we're going to call this one, this is going to be number one. All right, here's our plane number one. And number one has a body length of four and a half, so we're going to cut it off at the four and a half. I cut that off at the four and a half. Okay. It has the underwing fold and it's a square shape. So it's a square shape. That's fine. We do need to put a little piece of tape on that to make sure that we stay closed. There's the four and a half. And then the underwing fold, what we're talking about here is we're going to fold this. I'm going to fold it up like this. Make a little triangle here. And we'll fold this one on the other side the same way. All right, so there's our helicopter number one. We'll mark him again nice and plainly. Helicopter one. All right, there's helicopter one. Now we'll go to helicopter number two. Helicopter two, five and a half inches long. It does have the underwing fold and it's a square bottom. So in this one, this is number two. And all we have to do to this one is to make the underwing fold. Because in this full factorial design experiment, we have all possible combinations of three things at two different level settings. All right, so there's number two. I'll we'll grab one, number three. Number three, number two done. Okay, number three, four and a half inches. Okay, so we got to cut this one. All right, it does not have an underwing fold, and it is a square shape at the bottom. All right, so this one, we just cut it off to four and a half. We add our little piece of tape. And that one's ready to rock and roll as soon as we put a label on it. Number three. All right, four and a half inches long, no underwing fold, square bottom. All right, let's take the next one. This is going to be number four. Number four is five and a half inches long. It does not have an underwing fold, and it's a square bottom. So this is basically your plane helicopter. This is um, with no alterations at all. That's our normal standard helicopter. All right, number five. Here we have number five. Number five now. We got three. Number five. It's four and a half inches long. It does have an underwing fold, and it does have a point. So this one is going to require us to cut it off. It's four and a half inches. We're going to cut it off. All right, it has the underwing fold. So let's add the underwing fold. Add the underwing fold. And then we need to make it have a point. So the point, we are going to fold the point. We'll do that from the back. So we're going to start at the very end and we're going to fold it to a point. And we're going to fold this other side. And it's going to go all the way back up to kind of the top of the body here. All right. All right, so that's come to a point. That's pretty good. We're going to put a little piece of tape on that so it stays as a point. Wrap that around. All right, so there's a point. All right, so number five, 
four and a half inches long. Yes, it has the underwing folds, and yes, it has a point. All right, now for number six. Number six is five and a half inches long, underwing fold, but has a point. All right. So we don't have to cut anything off, we just have to make our folds, underwing fold, and underwing fold, and then we're going to fold this one to a point as well. So we're going to kind of start to there, fold to a point, and then this one, fold it. To a point. All right, so that one's folded to a point. And I'll put a piece of tape. Okay, there we go. Whoops, better put a number on that one. Don't know what it is. Okay, that's number six. And we've got number seven. And then we're also going to have number eight. Number seven is going to require us to cut off no underwing fold, but it does have a point. All right, so we're going to cut it off at four and a half. All right, cut that off, and we're going to do our folds to go to a point. Piece of tape. That's number seven. And the one we've been looking for, number eight. Full, full length, no underwing folds, and it goes to a point. So this one just folds to a point. Okay. Fold it to a point. Add our little piece of tape. All right, well, there you have it. There's our eight helicopters. Now all we have to do is go climb up on our ladder. We're going to drop each one of these helicopters five times each, five times each, and then we'll record the flight times, and then we can do our analysis on our designed experiment.